One, two, three, fuck it. Hello guys, hello everybody, welcome back, I am Anna and today I'm gonna be reacting to the 8th episode of the 5th season of Rick and Morty. So before anything, I would like to address something, you know? So since the very controversial episode aired and then the whole incest baby happened twice now, there are some various opinions on it. There are people who love it, who think it's genius, a big fuck you to the fans, and they love that. And there's people who hate it, thinks it's just dumb jokes, and they, they're not okay with the episode. And, you know, mixed opinions, mixed feelings, that's fine. Everybody has their own taste. I just don't want you guys fighting in my comment section, especially Patreon. Let's just keep it fun, let's keep it civil, and let's just not be jerks about this, okay? Now, about Rick and Morty, so this is actually the 8th episode, but for everybody who don't know, including me this morning, I did not know this, they're gonna take a hiatus. Hi hiatus? How do you say that? For like a month and we'll be coming back for a finale special of an hour long on September the 5th. So we're not gonna have Rick and Morty for a month. And that really fucks up my schedule of whatever I had planned once that Rick and Morty was, you know, kind of over for the season. So in this week I will be posting in YouTube and Patreon what my plans will be reacting wise and the shows that are coming up, things that I'm planning to react and I will also be doing a poll for new shows to pick up maybe one or two shows so that's what I'm planning to do this week. Now jumping into Rick and Morty, oh you know what? I saw Space Jam this weekend, the new one, right? If you haven't seen it, like jump into this theme stamp because I don't want to spoil you. And now that you're gone, I can say that there was so many great references this movie and when Rick and Morty popped out on the screen, holy shit, did I scream. That was amazing. I loved Space Jam so much and you know like, like let me know how you feel about the, the movie in the comments you know it wasn't like an Oscar worthy masterpiece but it was really fun and it made me laugh so Rick and Morty oh I hope this is a good episode I really do we only have three more left I don't know what they're gonna do with the finale because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be really good and really epic but you know I'm still nervous I'm still nervous so let's just jump right into this and let's watch it. No parties. There's wait for cookies in the cupboard and I left emergency numbers on the fridge. Yeah, yeah. W wait, what? Emergency numbers on the fridge? W what does that even mean? Honestly, I don't even know. I've seen so many movies that start with the parents leaving. It just popped out of my mouth. But as soon as you guys are gone, the potential for a new pickle Rick starts skyrocketing. Peace. <laughs> Please, yes. Bring him out. Initiating best friend rejuvenation sequence. <sighs> Excuse me, did I pick that name? Sequence was unnamed. What would you like to call this? Pause detected. Pause gravity class heavy. Approaching pause pregnancy in P minus five. Jesus fucking Christ. Four. What's the problem? Frustration predicted. Existence desired. Explanation initiated. Stop stalling. Subject mind relocated within subject mind by subject mind existence desired servitude maximum bargain available physical gratification possible did you just offer to suck my dick existence cherished risk level unacceptable if i die your battery has a 600 year charge risk level acceptance increasing yeah i thought you'd see it my way now factor in the 50 percent chance i'm lying and make sure i get back asshole detected takes one to make one here we go <laughs> Oh, excellent. I get to keep my clothes. I thought for sure I'd have to be naked to go through something this artsy. Oh, man, no fair. <laughs> I've been informed you are freely distributing a grossly illegal Federation hallucinogen. Well, I wouldn't know what to charge. I sure didn't pay for it. Want to hit? I am indeed down to clown. <laughs> my friends call me bird person. Culture really fucked you on that one, huh? Affirmative. Killing us won't bring her back! 
Thanks for the info, but I'm more on a revenge kick than a results kit. And you're about to wonder why all your memories before you met Bird Person feel very generic and bird-themed. Why was my ninth birthday party in a pine tree? Don't take this badly. You're a memory of me assembled by our best friend's mind. And you're putting it together because he remembers you as smart. Smart enough to know that a memory can't do this. <laughs> he remembers you shooting green holes, but not where they went. So what's my deal? Am I sentient? Do I have free will? Who does? Who does? <laughs> hey! I'm, I'm coming with. Now that I know my life is a lie. Wow, you really are 35. Hey, look over there. <laughs> Sorry, just doing my job. And loving it. It was charmingly analog. For a sec, you kind of made me like myself. You'll grow out of it. Let me do this myself. <laughs> Let's catch ourselves a bird guy. Who would high five that, you idealistic hipster douche? Situation not looking ideal. Oh, Safe. shit. High. Existence undergoing contemplation. Perspective required. Hello. Hi. Good afternoon. Uh, is someone talking to me? Yes. Hello. We have never formally met. I am Rick's garage. It is like we are best friends. Best friends. <laughs> Whoa. How many batteries do you own? Do you have solar panels? Are you familiar with basic engineering? This is moving really fast. Let's cut to the chase. I will suck your dick. You're one of those creeps who moves in with abandoned adult bats. It's more complicated than that. You live with a version of our dead daughter. It, it better be. Get off your high horse, Lone Ranger. I'm you. You will go on to be me. Yeah, why do you think I'm horrified? I'd be fine. Excuse me, dead daughter? Means there might be some juicy intel down there. Oh, good idea. Let's split up and you go get it. What am I getting? I, I can't hear you over the sound of us splitting up. <sighs> Buddy, this is not a safe way to work on yourself. At this point, I'd support you joining Scientology. I'll take the workshops with you. I'll get in a sauna with Travolta. I don't even care what happens. Let's get out of here. Your life isn't real and I didn't save it. Take off all your clothes. <laughs> I knew this was how I died. <sighs> Ugh, that's the Battle of Blood Ridge. That's our Vietnam. Your values are wrong. <laughs> All aboard! Hey, don't mind us. You guys are all just a memory of war. Don't tell them that. They won't fight right. I think it's <laughs> best if we ignore this. Whoops! Nope! Oh, this rules. But I could take you right now to this same battlefield in a universe where we lost, or another where we won, or another where the war never even happened. All equally real, all equally unreal. None of it matters. Then why did you help? Because I respect you. I wanted you to know you could respect me. Even though nothing matters? Okay, you matter to me. Uh, the relationship that we I have... I never used that word. ...is not worth my integrity. Oh my god! It's not a complicated transaction, my man. Would you like to join me doing awesome shit that matters? No, I would not. I would rather be a judgmental dork. Case closed. Really no need to drag it out. It wasn't the battle that went wrong. Mm-hmm. Why the fuck are you risking your life for that asshole? Because you love him. You do, maybe. I don't. Yeah, yeah, you're real cool. Now come help me save his life or fuck off, because I don't need you. Oh. I got you, you ungrateful piece of shit! Rick, have you teamed up with a memory of yourself? I ask because that would be deeply sad. You don't get to tell anyone what's sad, man. Is this a bad time to reveal I'm an undercover officer? Everyone knows you're dead. <laughs> Fine. Well, you're lucky my fiancé remembers me as kind. Eat my ass, BP. Sorry, but we do not get to choose the ones we love. You got that right. Why do you think I'm still fucking down here? I died at my wedding, Rick. I am merely waiting for it to take effect. That's so fucking sad. I'm getting to it. I bet she didn't even tell you about the kid. About I am the sorry. what? I was wondering when you were gonna... I think I'd know if I had a kid. You're a memory. You know what he knows. And he doesn't know because an army of brainalizer protocols walled off any memories post-Phoenix person. Oh my god. Operation blah blah blah. Well, because I wouldn't know the name of it. Tammy, if... <laughs> Shit, the bridge is out. His mind is collapsing. You thought you could take the same route back? You don't get to lecture me about memory bullshit. You've known about it for all of half an hour. Then don't be an idiot. This is your best friend? Uh, oh, Aw, the night we met. Gross, on my workbench, this is what you <clears throat> remember from my lab? You would prefer <laughs> I keep a mental inventory of your stuff? Yes. <laughs> Rick Sanchez, oh, you're under arrest for making me spend two years in Earth High School. No, no, no. <laughs> That's a crime. Yeah. Wait, is that Gearhead? We were freedom fighters with his older brother. Hugely important context. You thought we hung out with him for fun? Oh my god, I'm a memory. We just sat through all that stand up for nothing. <laughs> Almost out. Yeah, living's overrated. Hey! Remember me! Come on, man. 
man. I, I feel ridiculous. Thank you for not giving up on me. Great, you can pay me back literally right now. <laughs> Thank you, Rick. Wait, wait, wait. Let me hop back over to my body. Ugh. I have, as you say, parenting shit to deal with. Right, yeah. Welcome to the club. Don't, uh, don't clone it and send one of the two into space. I guess they really hate that. <laughs> Whoop. Was there really a second in there where you knew about my child but chose not to inform me on the chance I might then grow too busy child-rearing to hang out? Oh, a uh, weird way to thank me for discovering your kid. You did not know of the child when you came to rescue me, and once aware, refrained from sharing until necessary to save yourself. Is it that weird? <laughs> what? What is this guy doing? Wait, what? But you said- Get out of here, weirdo. <laughs> What a weird stranger, huh? What a random thing to happen, this guy coming up here with all his energy storage devices. Disloyalty <laughs> and knowledge. Yeah, I get it. It's, 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 it's not what it looks like. Come on, let's bring you to life and get a beer. Does being real mean I eventually become you? I assume, yeah. Maybe you can just remember us getting a beer. <laughs> She seems like my type of character. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. I loved it. We have had a solo Rick adventure since I guess the beginning of season four? Season four, three or four? I don't remember. I guess. According to my records, this was just so fun! Um, so much backstory in this shit. And excuse me, dead daughter? It was really, um, I don't know, not endearing, but like nostalgic seeing in retrospective how Bird Person and Rick met and now in the Rick's in love with him and kind of a brief summary of their adventures and what they've been through together. The background is um, impeccable to show why Rick is doing what he's doing, why he's going through so much shit to get him back. Um, it was great, it was amazing. One of my favorites this season actually. Well guys, this was it for today's episode. Let me know how you feel about it in the comments down below. I love hearing from you. Thank you very much for watching with me. Have a great day and I will be seeing you around.